Ivan S. 10th win on the season to tie one of your heroes growing up here at the Conqueror Canatel. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You know, that's one of the goals that we've been shooting for the last two, three years since we've been late model racing. Uh, I remember seeing Rick Canato when I was a kid, uh, just getting up in the third groove and, uh, you know, winning what felt like almost every week. So to be mentioned in the same breath as uh, Hanato, uh, and to tie his record is awesome. You know, now our goal is to break it. So hopefully we can do that next week and, uh, you know, win another one after that and, you know, put this, uh, this record here for a while. Unofficially, I think someone said it's 14 points with one race left. Uh, what's your outlook with the last points race? We're just here to win. You know, uh, we come here next week. You know, we put on an unload in the car. Uh, you no know, practicing, winning that race. Win the heat race, win the future. Whatever happens, happens. You know, uh, winning this third title, not going to change my life. You know, uh, we race because it's fun. We like to win. We've done a lot of that this year. So. Whatever happens, if we win the title, awesome. If we don't, we still have an awesome year. You know, uh, we get the invite to go to Loudoun, you know, for the 24th of September. We're really focused on that. We're really excited about that. So to have the opportunity to go down there a second time, we couldn't be more excited. We be more excited. So we're happy about that. Do you think Loudoun means that much more only because it it seemed like that may have been in doubt as recently as a week or two ago? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we went there once and uh, it was like a big race down there. And to get the opportunity to go back, to know that we have a little bit better equipment now, to know that I'm a little bit better down there as well. Uh, the confidence that I have in the car down there, you know, I think goes a long way. So I think we can do better. And the same thing, boy, you dream to race on a one mile track like that. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. To race with the caliber guys that we're going to race with, you know, 43 of the elite drivers in New England, uh, they, they're inviting the best of the best in New England. So you know it's going to be great racing. And to be on that platform with those guys, you can't be more excited. With the affiliation program, I guess, kind of falling apart with, with here in the last couple of weeks, and, and, and then they have the chance to go, do you think that Speaks of credit to, to Tom Curley and ACT because you've run with them before and, and, and like you said, you, you've you got experience at New Hampshire to, to still extend you an invitation uh, to go and run. You know, because uh, the ACT tour did say that they're not really affiliated with Seaconk anymore and they weren't really having anybody from Seaconk come down. So for them to single me out and personally call me and ask me if you'd like to join them down there means a lot. You know? It means we've done something right you know, over the last few years and you know, get a previous reputation as one of the better you know, teams in New England. So you hit it on the head, Nick, that means a lot to us to go down there. And again, can't ask for a better group of guys to race with and a better series. I mean, the Act Tour is phenomenal to race with. They do a great job. That's just such an honor to be a part of that on the platform, like you said, at New Hampshire Motor Speedway on Cup Weekend. With the. Uh Two championships, possibly a third. All the wins that you've accomplished here in the, in the last handful of seasons have just been an incredible feat. Do you see yourself staying with the late models here, or, or if you can get the funding and, and pieces together to maybe go back ACT racing next season? You no, know, it's a good question. You know, uh, I think we've won like 23 or 24 races in the last three years, so uh, great feat. So how can you be disappointed about that? The disappointing thing is racing against 8 or 10 cars every week. You know, um, I think a big feel for us this year is from 14, so it kind of takes the fun out of it. Of course winning's fun, but when you're only racing against 10, 12 cars, you know, it does take the fun out of it. So, uh, yeah, we are looking at different opportunities for next year. Uh, it all comes down to the almighty dollar, and, uh, you know, we'd like to run a little bit more with the tour next year. Uh, it's not in the cards to run full-time back tour right now with work obligations, family obligations. Um, not just for myself, but for the crew guys as well. It wouldn't be fair to them. Uh, but we definitely have our eye on running a couple of tour races next year, act tour races. Um, you know, maybe a pass race here or there. And um, obviously, we plan on running here a bit next year as well. To what degree, I'm not sure. Uh, in the late models, it's a great division. And this division has my heart. But dollars and cents wise, it doesn't make the most sense for us. And who are some of the people that you want to thank for uh, a great season and another victory here with uh, the tenth one? Absolutely. You know, it's really this season has been a testament to my guys. Uh, you know, Mike Vanessa, Nick Urich, uh, Ron Green, Bobby Pellin, Little Bobby Pellin, our families. You know, that allow us to do what we truly love to do on a weekly basis.
basis. Our sponsors, Who Motor Sports, uh, supply us a power plant on a weekly basis to race with. Uh, and to race with them, which is so, so it makes it that much more enjoyable. My parents, ANA Auto Parts, Team V Racing, and International CBA. I think you've said at one point that this place you were just someone watching the races here on a regular basis, got to race, and to to win all these races, and and now you're in the same same breath as, as some of the best in, in the late mall division. Uh, does does that just t take a second to realize, or or just to uh, appreciate? Knowing that you're up there with these, all these great names that you, you watched growing up? It really does. You know, it really, really does. And to, I've been coming here since I was two years old, you know, and always hoped to have the opportunity to race here. And then once you started racing here, you hope to be able to win a race. And to sit back and look at how many races we've won and, you know, a handful of seasons here, 10, 12 seasons, whatever it's been, uh, to win championships. Uh, one race in just about every division here. If somebody would have told me that 15, 20 years ago, I would never believe, it. you know, coming here. Um, with my parents, with my brother, you know what I mean? Just watching these guys, the Freddie Estelle's, the Rick Hannon's, and stuff like that. To put yourself in their category, it's just, it's mind-boggling, you know? And it's funny, because now you see the little kids, and you know, they all want my autograph. And that just means more than what really you know? Truly enjoy racing the Seacon Speedway for the fans. You know, we do have some of the best fans here. Uh, you know, I'd love to see more fans here, obviously. Uh, and that's something that it's, it's a work in progress, but the fans are the ones that make it worthwhile. And you just mentioned mentioned the fans. I think it was a, a great spur of the moment way of celebrating all the fans uh, wanting to give you a high five after the race uh, to celebrate. Yeah, that was awesome. You know, I put a smile on my face, seeing all the little kids at the uh, flag stand and call my name. So went out there, high five them, spent some time with them. Had a little kid ask me for a trophy. We gave a trophy away last week or two weeks ago. Um, and that's what makes this stuff worthwhile, it really is. You know, we're not going to that car anytime in the near future, so um, this is the enjoyment that we get out of racing here at Seacon. Spending time with the fans, winning races, and, you know, writing our name.